Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson 14, solving inequalities. More inequalities in this lesson. Classwork opening exercise. The annual county carnival is being held this summer and will last five and one half days. Use the information and the other given information to answer each problem. Okay. It says you are the owner of the biggest and newest roller coaster called the Gentle Giant. The roller coaster costs six dollars to ride. The operator of the ride must pay two hundred dollars per day for the ride rental, sixty-five dollars per day for a safety inspection. Okay, they got to check, make sure it's safe every day. If you want to make a profit of at least one thousand dollars each day. What is the minimum number of people that must ride the roller coaster? It is a really good real world situation. You don't just go out and say, oh, I'm going to make money doing something and everything I make is in my pocket. That's not how life is. You have other expenses, the employees and so forth here. It's $200 a day for the ride and rental and 65 per day for inspecting. All right. So. We need to write an inequality that can be used to find the minimum number of people P each must ride the roller coaster each day to make. Okay, so I know that some number of people, and we know it's $6 to ride, so if one person rides it, it's $6, if two people ride it, 6 times 2, which is 12, if three people ride that 6 times 3, which is 18, so this is our coefficient variable we're going to use to determine money we will make per ride. Okay. But after I make that money, I have to pay $200 for the machine rental, and I have to pay $65 for safety inspection every day. Okay, so daily rental, daily inspection. And you want to make, so this has to be greater than or equal to $1,000 want to make a profit profit means how much you make after all expenses are paid and in this case it's the rent and the insurance so here's my inequality so now it says to solve the inequality so i'm just going to rewrite it here 6p minus 200 minus 65 is greater than or equal to 1000 okay i combine like terms there's only one variable p and the negative 200 minus 65 is negative 265. It's greater than or equal to 1,000. Okay. We're going to use SATMEP again. Add subtract first. There's a subtraction. The inverse of subtraction is addition. We want to take the inverse so we can get rid of it and get zero. So if we add an inverse to a number, we get the zero, the opposite of a number and that number add up to zero. So we're left with 6p, no constants remaining. And then that has to be greater than or equal to 1,000 minus 265 is $735. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm adding, not subtracting. So I added 265. I should put a plus sign there so I realize that. And it's not that I went the wrong way. It's 1,260. Okay. So after we take our expenses out, that bumps up our goal to $1,265. And then each ride, we make $6. So if I divide that by $6, that cancels. And I get how many people I need to ride. So 6 will go into 12 times. 6 will go into 6 once. 6 will not go into 5. 6 will go into 50. There's a leftover. So that is 5 sixths. 210 and 5 sixths. Let's regard that as Okay. So you can't have a portion of a person, so that fraction really doesn't matter. So if you think about this, the number of rides has to exceed or be equal to 210 and 5 sixths of a ride. So think about that. Interpret the solution. That's what that means. Okay. 
You cannot get 210 and 5 6 of a ride. You're not going to let someone get on that ride and ride it 5 out of 6 hundred meters if that's the length of the ride. And stop it and tell them to get off because they only pay them 5 6 of a ride. That's ridiculous. So you need to round them up. So that means that the number of tickets has to be greater than or equal to 200. 210 wouldn't be enough. 211 is where you start counting. Okay. And let me bring that interpretation in for those to copy down. So here's the interpretation. There needs to be a minimum of 211 people to ride the roller coaster every day to make a daily profit of at least one. Example one. A youth summer camp has a budget of $2,000 campers to attend a car. Cost of each camper $17.95, which includes general admission to the carnival and two meals. So that's all included. The youth summer camp must also pay $250 for the chaperones. Okay, they're not volunteers, they're getting paid to attend, and $350 for transportation to and from the carnival. So we have to rent a bus and pay for fuel. What is the greatest number of campers who can attend the carnival if the camp must stay within the budget amount? So this is our total. Okay. This is the cost for each is the keyword here. So it's 17.95 for each camper I'll call C. Alright. They also must pay 250 for a chaperone, 350 for transportation. Those are both constants. So I'll circle these. Draw a line over here like this, and they are constants. It doesn't say $250 for each chaperone. It says for all the chaperones. And we're only going to take one bus. It doesn't say for each bus we need $350. So they're constants. They don't change. So we're going to take that $17.95 times however many campers there are. Add our expenses, which is $250 for the chaperones, plus $350 for the transportation. And that has to be less than for each. We can't go over budget, and that is $2,000. Okay. We're going to combine our like terms, which are our constants right here. So we have 17.95C plus 0 plus 0 is 0, 5 plus 5 is 10. Carry the one. Three plus one is four. Plus two is six hundred dollars. It's less than or equal to two thousand. Okay. Now we do sad math, and we have addition. The inverse of addition is subtraction. So to get rid of that six hundred, we subtract six hundred from both sides. Okay. And these cancel, and I get seventeen point ninety five C is less than or equal to two thousand minus six hundred is one thousand four hundred. And then finally, this is multiplication. $17.95 times however many campers there are, it's multiply. And we divide the inverse of multiplications division, divide by 17.95. And we get C by itself, divided by itself is 1, or you can say they cancel. That's less than or equal to 17.95 will go into 1,477. <laughs> All right, so in order for the camp to stay in budget, the greatest number of campers who attend the carnival is, now you have to think about this, these are campers, and that can't be 878, we can't round up, because 78 is greater than, not less than, 77.99, so at most. pays the owner of an exotic animal exhibit $650 for the entire time. So that's a constant. The 
owner of the exhibit has no other expenses except for a daily insurance cost. Okay. If the owner of the animal exhibit wants to make more than $500, more than $500, so there's our equation, inequality, in profits for the five and one half days, what is the greatest daily insurance rate he can afford to pay? Okay, so I'm going to use the letter D for daily insurance rate. I don't like using the letter I because that represents something else in math that you will learn in a couple of years. So I'm going to avoid it now. Okay, so the constant is $650. You know that. And then we're going to subtract. 5.5, I just changed this to a decimal, five and a half D for daily insurance rates. Okay, so $650 is what he's paying. And he also has to subtract from that the daily insurance. And that has to be greater than five. So this is the portion of the $650 for him to, you know, he's got some leeway here. $650 minus something has to be greater than that. Okay. So I'm going to subtract $650 from both sides. Think of this as a positive $650 plus 5.5 minus 5.5 D. It's, it's positive, so the inverse of addition is subtraction. Subtract 650 from both sides. Okay, this cancels and I get negative 5.5D. I know this is going to cause a problem with many. That negative sign does not disappear. It is still brought down as minus. And minus and negative mean the same thing. Okay, think of a negative number as plus a minus. It's negative. 5 minus 650. 5 minus 650 is negative 1. This is multiplication. So to get rid of multiplication, we do the inverse, which is division. So I'm going to divide by 5.5 on both sides. Negative 5. Okay. Now, really careful in this problem. Change colors. These cancel. Anything divided by itself is 1. If you divide a negative number, okay, so if I have a number line, and let's put zero here, and let's just go to negative two. All right, so if I divide negative two by a negative one, it puts me over here to two. So if the number I'm talking about, this is less than zero, but now it is greater than zero when I divide. So the symbol, this used to be like this, it's less than zero. So negative two is less than zero, but two is greater than zero. So since I multiply by a negative or divide by a negative, the sign changes direction. I divided by a negative number, so now that sign goes this way. And 150 divided by 5.5 5 is 27. 27. So his maximum daily cost of the owner to pay for insurance is that $27.27. But it says it has to be less than. So actually the answer is 27.26. Because if he made use this, it would have been equal. It says more than. It doesn't say make more than or equal to 500. So the actual answer is most he can pay for insurance is $27.26. Okay. Yeah. Several vendors at the carnival sell products and advertise their business. Shane works at a recreational company that sells ATVs, dirt bikes, snowmobiles, and motorcycles. His boss paid him $500 for working all of the days. So that's the constant. 500 is constant. Okay. 
not a variable, not multiplying by a variable. The carnival plus, okay, it says for working all of the days at the carnival plus 5% commission on all of the sales made at the carnival. What was the minimum amount of sales Shane needs to make if he earns more than, more than $1,500? So his boss is giving him $500 salary, plus he's going to pay him 5% commission. Well, 5% is 5 out of 100. That's what percent means. So I can write it as 5 over 100, or I can write it as 0.05, 5 one-hundredths. I'll just leave it as 5 over 100 for now. And we're going to call that C for commission. Okay. It's always good to use the letter and the word. In this case, let's use C. Okay. Um, so that's got to be greater than 1,500. Okay. And I'm thinking you can also use this for sales, but it doesn't really matter so much. You just use a variable. Okay. So now we have 500 plus this 5 over 100 C is greater than 1,500. So. Again, sad add subtract first, that's a positive. To get rid of it, we subtract. Subtract 5 over 100. These cancel. I get 5 over 100. C is greater than 1,500 minus 500. Okay. And then there's what's called the multiplicative reciprocal. To get our identity 1C, we have to multiply by the reciprocal of 5 tenths, which is 1, or 5 one hundredths, which is 100 fifths. What I do to one side, I must do to the other to maintain equality. And this is 500 over 500, which is 1, or you can say the 5s cancel and the 100s cancel, leaving C is greater than. Okay, so it's always best to divide first to make it smaller before you make it bigger. 1,000 divided by 5 is 200. 200 times 100 is 200. Okay. So the sales have to be more than $20,000 for him to earn more than $1,500. He has to sell more than $20,000. Okay. That's the end of lesson 14. What are your problems now?